Hey, it's me. I'm Sydney. And Joe, what are you doing? <laughs> it's National Trouble Day. I'm doing the Trouble Show. Why? We're live I right now. <laughs> Stay tuned for the forecast. Join the Deviation Club tomorrow for the One District Many Voices event where there will be food, engaging panels, and booths to explore. Be there. ECU Girls Basketball Backcourt Club is hosting its final fundraiser of the school year. Fill as many boxes with your donatable items and bring it to the EVHS parking lot on Saturday, May 5th at 9 a.m. Each week, we take a look at the amazing students in our school. Here's this week's Student Spotlight. Hi, I'm a junior at ECU High School. I'm part of the baseball team and have been playing since I was a third grader. Ever since I was a little kid, I loved watching my dad and my brother play baseball, and I wanted to follow into their footsteps and continue on the tradition. I learned how to play chess in first grade, and I've loved it ever since. I always play with my friends, peers, and family, in just little competitive games. Aha! Another one. I love being active and playing all sorts of sports. Other than baseball, I'm involved in a couple activities such as intramural flag football and intramural basketball. In my free time, I love hanging out with my friends and either playing street hockey, backyard football, or even basketball on a friend's sport court. In my future, I aspire to become a biomedical engineer and help those with lost limbs and build them prosthetics. Hi. I'm Kyle Nelson, and it's The Climb. The varsity boys lacrosse tried their best, but fell short against Rosemount. Their next game will be played at ECU against Burnsville on Thursday, May 3rd at 7.30. The varsity softball team had won against Andover High 13-3 on Monday before losing against Shakopee last night. Their next game is an away game against Rosemount. The junior varsity softball team had an amazing comeback, scoring six in the last inning for a 10-9 win over Shakopee last night. Congratulations! The Eastview girls lacrosse team won against the South Suburban Conference rivals Rosemount 15-5. Nice job. They next play, the Lightning next play at home against Burnsville Thursday, May 3rd at 5.30 p.m. Lightning boys varsity tennis defeats Prior Lake 5-2 and are still undefeated in South Suburban Conference. The team is back in action at Shakopee on Thursday. The girls track and field team finished seventh overall last night at the conference re relay meet. Congrats to the top finishers and those who set a PR last night. The boys varsity golf team got off to a strong start in their conference play on Monday with a second place finish, firing a solid 306 in windy conditions. The AP European History hosts its national European history trip. Let's take a look at this year's trip. Congratulations to the ECU girls junior varsity golf team for finishing first place at their Invitational. They posted an overall score of 197. ECU finishes with four girls in the top 10. Their next match is tomorrow at Rich Valley. 
And we'll leave you with today's quote of the day. The most important thing is to enjoy your life, to be happy. It's all that matters. Audrey Hepburn.